My prison filled with slave artists was pretty grim. <laughs> Everyone got a single cell, bed, toilet, sink, artist easel. There was a warden that lived above them on ground level, who cooked for them. <laughs> but they could only eat if they were turning out sellable art. Most of them went insane and died. <laughs> <laughs> My teenage son decided waking up to his alarm and getting on the school bus was unimportant. So I locked him in a one-by-one -one room until he peed himself and died in the puddle. <laughs> in making magic, I had a brilliant dog named AJ, who was loved by the whole family decided to train my wizardry and get the spell that allowed you to turn pets into humans so AJ could be even more a part of the family. He turned out to be the biggest <laughs> bag as a person and was abusive to his family, so we had to take care of him. I built a monolithic tomb and trapped him inside. The family stood out front playing music to him as he slowly starved. <laughs> they bought a new dog and played with it happily outside his eternal resting place to torture his trapped soul. Eventually a dragon burnt down the house and killed them all. What a game. <laughs>